Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Thank you for joining us today. I have some exciting news for everybody. I went and got some of my creations framed and I got them back. So I'm going to show all of them to you today. They turned out absolutely beautiful and they are all uploaded into the Etsy shop already. So the first one is the Sea Washed Glass Color by Sherwin-Williams and this is a 20 by 20 and it is all pigments and paints and it is beautiful it is ready to go it's varnished i not varnished it is resined and it is all ready to hang on your wall very nice so it's going to be hanging on my wall until somebody buys it there we go so you will see it in the video because it'll be on this back wall over here that's number one. Oh. Okay, boys, you gotta get out of the way. Okay, this is the 10 by 20 that had the two different color uh, bases from Sherwin-Williams, the roseberry and the pink, the light pink, which is all of the pigments, the paints, and this was marbled. Oh yeah. And this is in the Etsy shop as well. Very nice. This is easy. This has the white background from Sherwin-Williams. This was marbled and this was all different color pigments and paints and it is stunning. It's really, really pretty. And this one is a 15 by 15. Yeah, I like the negative space on this one. It really shows off all the colors. Mm -hmm. And these are all resined. This has the background of the teal. Whoops, goes this way. These are the pigments. Wow. Look at the colored cells on this one. Yeah. It, these are beautiful. They're, they just, they're all stunning. I mean, they're just absolutely beautiful. And like I said, they're all resined. This one also is a 15 by 15. And these are all in the Etsy shop. They are all ready to hang for you. Can you show that again to me? Mm -hmm. I, I'd like people to take note that Kathy uses a lot of color art pigments. And look how vibrant they've stayed uh, through the whole process, through the drying process and being resin and so forth. Uh, just really fabulous, bright, vibrant colors. They really are. They not, None of them fade. Right. This is the Forever Lilac background, which is also done with the marble and with the color art pigments and paints. And all these creations are uploaded. So if you want to see how this painting was made, if you purchase it, you can watch this painting be made. Yeah, every one of these paintings, they have a video of the creation, which is kind of neat. And they all have the little bumpers on, so it won't hurt your wall on the bottom. Oh yeah, these have been professionally framed. Mm -hmm. And this was a 12 by 12. I think with the frame, it comes out to about 13 by 13, right. though. Now, this is the Radio Bloom, and this was the Daffodil. And this one is a 16 by 16. These are also color art pigments. Uh, my black cell activator with uh, different various paints in it. And that turned out very nicely. It's a very nice shaped bloom and very nice so composition. So that is... What we have so far there is more to come so this is what i picked up yesterday yeah it's always nice to see everything finished dried varnished framed it makes it okay really looks nice now i'm really uh going back to basics here i think this might be like the only third one that i've done in my life <laughs> So I figured, oh, why not 
and give what it you, a go again. I'm uh, going to do a ring pour. A ring pour, okay. Well, that's kind of nice. And who knows what I'm going to add on to that ring pour. I don't know. We'll see once I get there. So, my colors, I have Metallic Teal by Blick. This is Heartthrob by Prism Pour. This is Pretty Petunia by Prism Pour. This is Folk Art Treasure Gold, which is green gold. This is Golden Honey by Prism Pour. This is Folk Art Treasure Gold Blue Quartz. And this is just Artist Loft White. Oh, okay. So I'm going to right. put those in my cup. And then I'm going to do my little ring pour. If I can, this should be, this might not be good. But Why? we'll try. What do you think the problem is? Um, Because you really want to like, um, Oh, we got it like a spout or something? Yeah, so I'm just going to get <laughs> hey, a different Hey, you're cup. not prepared. Hey, I was so excited to show everybody those paintings. Well, I'll show them again on the floor. <laughs> this will be better. Okay. We might even need two cups. Who knows? There you go. So we're going to layer these first. You want to say the colors again while you're doing it or no? Sure. I don't have my uh, oh, I don't. cheat oh. sheet oh, like you okay. usually do. You can read them. Oh, okay. That was Metallic Teal by Blick. Second. We have Heartthrob Prism Pour by Primary Elements. And this is... Pretty Petunia. Pretty Petunia. Oh, there we go. Pretty Petunia Prism Pour. Folk Art Treasure Gold or Green Gold. Golden Honey Prism Pour by Color Art. This is Folk Art Treasure Gold Blue Quartz. It's really a pretty color, too. Yes. I don't think <laughs> you've ever used that color. Have you? And of course, the final touch is the Artist Loft White. So you're asking me if I ever use that when you see all these paints sitting around? <laughs> well, just going to add a little bit more. Okay. I can't remember from day to day what I use. That's what I have you for to put in the. Well, it just. Description box. The folk art. I know you've used folk art products in the past, but. I wasn't sure if you actually used those colors. If I did, it's been a pretty long time ago. Yes. Well, like you say, you've only done, I think, th three of these cup pours in your life. So <laughs> this, uh, again, should be an interesting it's going to be. outcome. Okay. Okay. So... Here we go. <laughs> so aren't you supposed to go, is this something that you like go real slow and it just yeah, the expands ring out or something? Yeah. Okay. I'm just asking because I haven't seen you do this in so long. I'm I haven't seen myself do it in so long. Did we say that this is a 12, is a 12 by 16 canvas? Uh, yeah, I don't think we said okay, that. Okay, 12 by 16 canvas. And it's just a bare canvas, nothing, no base coat, right? Yes, nope. that's what it looks like to me. Kathy does have a Facebook group called Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. It's growing tremendously. Uh, you can post your own creations on there, ask questions, make comments. It's just turned out to be a wonderful place for 
paint pourers of all skill levels to go uh, and uh, enjoy enjoy the site and learn something hopefully from that too. And all the members have been so supportive, generous, willing to help. Absolutely. You go, you're ringing the ring here, I guess. Yes, I am. Okay. Well, okay. We're going to see what happens here, Phil. What's going to go on? That is true. It's going to be exciting, I think. Because I think, you know, I'm going to have to do a little wrecking before I tip it or anything. I think that's... You know me, I might not tip it, I might just spin it. That's okay, too. I haven't decided. Ah, we're going to tip some of this. Oh, you're, you're going to tip it before you... Uh... Wreck it? A little well, bit. Apparently you are. <laughs> A little bit. Okay. Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art, primary elements in their prison pores. And of course, you can get a real nice discount, 20% discount off their your purchases by using the discount code and link in our description box. You can also have savings on KS Resin and also Boom Gel Stains and Australian Floetrol, again, by using the links and codes in the description box. So save some money, pick up some wonderful products. I might have to add a little bit more down here. That's what we're going to do, Phil. Okay. Because I don't want to tip so much off that I lose some of it. So we're going to just put some down at the bottom here, too. All right. See what happens. Round two. Round two. Ah. Well, yeah, who's to say you can't? Go around the whole thing if you want to. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay, I think that'll do it. Now, I think I'm going to go back in here. There's nothing wrong with that either. Ooh, I can't lose this cup though. Well, the thing about you, you uh, usually figure out your <laughs> own way of doing things. I do. So, oh, that's pretty cool. I actually think that is really cool. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't lose too much of that being in the corner. Oh, don't worry, Phil. I got you covered. There's no right or wrong. Whatever, wherever your mind takes you, people, just throw it on your canvas. That's what I love about paint pouring. Okay. 
Okay. That's pretty cool. That's what it kind of look like it's going into the earth. Like a 3D thing. Yeah, it does. It's really kind of strange. Okay, now I'm going to wreck this, but I don't think I'm going to wreck this part. That's fine. Because I don't want to. Yeah. I agree. Wreck that. That sort of has its own but I'm gonna do character this. all by itself. I, I would say you might have to use the larger end of the stick. I think so. But I don't know if I'd go in circles. I don't want to. I don't want to. Um... There we go. That leaves a just enough of a sort of a faint wrecking line to give it some real nice interest. Yeah, because I'm leaving this. I'm not wrecking yes. this part. Okay, I'm going to do a little tipping. Okay. You have to do it pretty slow, though, because this paint is... Yeah, it looks like... Um... The paint is more watery it is. than your normal consistency. Oh, I kind of like how that's going in there. I don't want to. Oh, that's that. coming back. It's springing back. I know. I'm, I know I'm bringing I'm, it back. I'm, I know. I'm just kidding. So I'm assuming you want to get the paint over the whole canvas. Correct. Okay. All right. Well, you better can. Phil, I can. I can even do that after, so oh, you I'm can. not worried about it. Okay. All right. I just don't want to lose this blue guy in the middle, because he's pretty cool. is really cool. You're tipping. I can see you moving, Phil. No, I'm, I'm trying to keep it so everybody can see the canvas and what's happening. This is pretty. Oh, I'm loving this. Yeah, it's quite different. I'm That's, loving this. Let's see, I want to see it from this end here. This is yeah, so it's... pretty. I love this. I do too. I, I like it. I love this. I like that secondary pour that you did on top because I, I think too. that actually that made really this creation. It. It did. Absolutely. Absolutely. It really set it off. It's and, uh, really pretty. Picking up the nice blues and the. Uh... Yeah, this is really, really attractive. Very, very, very pretty. You know, the red and the blue came together, making the purple, mm -hmm. which was pretty, is really cool. Then you got the white and the light blues and the greens, making ripples. Those ripples are pretty cool. Yeah, I like those ripples. Yes. That is really and neat. They, yeah, they're more like ripples than they are like lines, which is neat. You know, it looks actually like 3D. It does. 
that's what I said because be oh. even before I put the one in there, I said it looked kind of like 3D. But this is cool. Okay, everybody, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to our channel. You never know what we're going to do. I mean, I haven't done one of these. I think this is like maybe only the third one that I've ever done. I don't do quite, I don't do a lot of these. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. Go to our Facebook group. Join that as well. Leave me some comments. And um, I hope everybody stays well, stays healthy. I hope you enjoyed my little show of my paintings that I created. And like I said, they're all in the Etsy shop. So go take a look there. I have more coming. So stay tuned. And we love all of you. Until the next time, see you later, alligators. I put my hands up, but I don't want to drip on my painting. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. This is a very soothing painting. That, that's the impression I get. It's just nice and uh, soothing, cool colors. And the nice ripples that you got through there is really neat. It's really, it's pretty. It's very, very pretty. I'm really pleased with this. Yes. I'm glad.